Hi there. Try to bear with me. I'm going to try to give you as much information about this scam as possible. I am from the South, so I will try to keep my accent at bay as much as I can. Now, the purpose of this video is to inform you of a new scam I just recently was involved in. I received an email about three weeks ago offering me employment with this company called MS and AD Insurance Holding Group Incorporated. Now, as I did my research on this company, it was listed on the Wall Street Journal and Bloomberg. The website seemed very legitimate. So this is not to say that this company is the one doing the scamming. It's very well could be that somebody is posing as this company or at least as the human resource administrator. Um, let's see, I try to make some notes so I give you as much information as possible. The job offer was for me to be an administrative clerical assistant and work from my home office. When my husband did the research, as well as me, we both looked for scams because this job just seemed too good to be true, and it was. But when we researched for scams, it was, there were none. There were none referring to this company at least. Um, the interview was performed through Skype and all the questions that were asked were very professional. None of them were out of line, so no red flags were raised there. Once the job was given, I received a W-4 and a contract of employment as well as an automatic deposit form for my annual paycheck, well, my bi-weekly paycheck. So, in our minds, we were thinking, what scam artist thinks to go to this length? But apparently in today's world, they go to extreme lengths. Um, then I was informed that I did not have all the office equipment they want me to have. They wanted me to have a MacBook, this really high-tech printer. The MacBook was to have some type of automated time clock software in it so they could keep track of my hours that I worked. Um, they were willing to pay for all the additional office equipment except for that software. The software was about $5,000. I informed them, look, I don't have the money for that. That is a lot of out-of-pocket expense for a company that I haven't even earned a paycheck for yet. So they were like, okay, we'll see what we can do. So that was still on the fence. But they did inform me they would be sending me a check to pay for the other office equipment and that was about a little over four thousand about forty eight hundred dollars that they sent me in this check however when I received the check the personnel that I was speaking with was insistent that I use my bank app to deposit the check into my account now this of course threw up red flags everywhere so I told them that my app was down, which it was. My app isn't set up to do deposits with checks. I just don't like to. I'm old fashioned. I like paper. So I took the check to the bank first thing that morning, and the moment they touched the check, they said something feels wrong about it. They examined the check and they said there should be an address associated with that bank typed onto the check. Along with that, the signature that was on the check, if you looked really, really closely, was Xeroxed. And I examined that check, and it took me really squinting my eyes. Now, mind you, my eyesight ain't that great, but it was Xeroxed on. Once you like held it like right here, you could tell. So the bank says, I don't want you to just take our word for it. Let's call this other bank and verify. So they call the bank, and they're like, that is a fraudulent check. Now, if I had deposited that check without having it verified, not only would I have been liable for the $4,800, I would have also been charged a $30 penalty fee for the check to have bounced. This is the reason that I'm doing this video. I'm somewhat educated. I'm about to get my bachelor's degree in accounting literally this week. So pretty excited about that, woo woo. But there are others that aren't educated and the idea of a get rich quick scheme makes our blood boil. We get excited, it puts endorphins in our brains. 
and they won't think twice about verifying the money and then they end up in a hole because they got scammed. So please take a look at this video. You don't have to like it. You don't even have to comment. It is just meant to be informative. Thank you for your time and y'all have a wonderful and blessed day. Thank you.